Let's move on to the next. Number 96, Jay Reamersma. Yeah, Jay Reamersma played from 1997 to 2002, was tight end, ranked second among Bills tight end with 204 catches, 2,304 receiving yards, and 20 touchdowns. He was the last really good tight end. Um, I mean, technically, Charles Clay probably has better numbers, but he played in a different era. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. He was uh he was a listen, I like Reamers. Like, he yeah. was was he Except an elite Rumpet. tight end? No. Was he a good tight end? Yes. He I thought he was a good tight end, but I, I you know, he definitely deserves to be on here. Uh he put up pretty good numbers, but I gotta say they weren't great numbers, but we also were throwing to the receivers more. We didn't really use tight ends much, honestly, throughout Bill's history. If you go look back on Bill's uh, tight ends, uh, yeah, it's just it's just it's it's not it's not the best, um, and it's just weird. We just never really relied on our tight ends much. And I'm not saying this guy doesn't deserve 96 because I think he does. Um, it's just, I mean, if you look at the the yardage, I mean, obviously, you know, if you go on other teams' top 100, they're going to probably have awesome tight ends. It's just we just didn't use them much in our offense. Uh, throughout almost every season, I got to be honest. Mm-hmm. Now we are. I think now we're starting to get Dawson Knox. I, I think you know maybe the thing things are turning around, and I think Dawson Knox may be Mikey that guy to eventually get on this list and and, and, and surpass guys like Jay Reemersma uh, because we're yeah because we're, we're 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 starting to use them that, a little bit more. That's saying that he secures a bag and stays with the Bills longer. Yeah, that, that's a great point, Mike. Because it is, it, it, it is. That's his, a great point. Uh, I didn't realize year. you're hundred percent. You you got a great point. I didn't even realize that. You're right. Uh, that's if he stays, guys. So that would really suck, Mitch guys. Lawrence was a good one too, Scott. That yep. would really suck, Mikey. If we built this guy up, and like then we Dawson watch him out. walk out the door, and he goes and tears it up for somebody else, <laughs> right. like we, we finally watched, we, we did him. the same thing with Logan Thomas. <laughs> right. We 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 put him, we transitioned him from quarterback to tight end. I we let him walk yeah. out the door, and he became a pro bowler in, Knox, in Washington. Yeah, and and he was way better. But I think Dawson Knox will be on a way le- different level than, yeah. than than him. But I get what you're saying. But it would just really <laughs> it would suck because it's like. It's a it's a one of those draft picks where it's like we knew we had to be patient with him and we finally get him there and then he leaves. Yep. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Yep. So he had all the raw talent, can. just had to learn the position <laughs> at the pro level, does oh, it and then, then then takes off. Yeah. That'd be yep, bad. Yep. So hopefully he stays sticks around, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's what I would hope. All right. Metzler um, was a really good blocking tight end as well. Metzler and Rimzama, both of them, they, they, they were they were great blocking tight ends as well. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Listen, uh, a, lot, a lot of that time, a lot of people forget about the blocking uh, element of it. Uh, he was a solid player, no doubt. That's why he's on the list. Yep. He's on the list. Guys, and I got to say this, too. There's a lot of guys, you know, that some of you guys may think should be deserving to be on the list that aren't going to be on the list. And I totally understand that. I, I really do. And there's some guys that you may feel needs to be higher on this list mm-hmm. or lower on this list. I totally understand that as well. Uh, Charles Clay in my opinion, should be on this list. Uh, but there just wasn't enough room on the total vote. Um, and I know a lot of Bills Mafia doesn't like Charles Clay because of the drop, you know, the, end, the, the drop, the last, the last year. But right, let's be honest, Charles it's Clay. the drop. Yeah, it is a drop. That, that, that stays in people's mind. But if you forget about that and you kind of try to erase that, he was a solid tight end. He was one of our best receivers really uh for two of the three seasons or three of the four mm-hmm. whatever he was here for um you got to give him he was, he was our leading receiver exactly and he was a tight end so you got to show him some kind of love over one drop that by the way that drop wasn't for a playoff spot that wasn't a playoff game it was a meaningless game i get it, it was josh allen make i understand that but that that meant nothing that meant zero at the end of the at the end of the day, we just lost a meaningless game. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, it is your opinion, and you. Can it is my yourself. opinion. I, I I thought that I I just I do I, I thought that I, I I'm I thought we overpaid for him, and he was oh, he was hundred percent we overpaid. No, hundred percent. He was a decent tight end that uh, what was a product of the system at the time. 
that yeah. we had no receiver, so he got all the love. I didn't. I, I, I didn't find him overly good at all. Like I thought he was an average tight end well, that, that felt that fit into what we were trying to do. Yeah, I'm not saying he was overly good. And remember, he was he was a fullback out of Miami yeah. that transitioned to a tight end, so he was an undersized tight end to be to be real with you. Yeah. But regardless of the fact that we didn't have anybody else to throw it to, he still stepped up. He was the guy. So. And he was the guy for multiple years, so it wasn't just one lucky year. I just, I'm just saying. So he, you got to still give him the dues that he still made the catches, he still got the yards, he still got the touchdowns. And it, like I said, if he's going to be in the top hundred, it would have been, to, in my opinion, towards the bottom, like number yeah. one hundred, number ninety nine, something more around there. But either way, he's around there, and I, I got to show him some love. And that's the only reason I mention him yeah. um, on this list. So we're gonna move on, Mikey. So yep. we're going to go to. Uh, number 95, and 